This is the wife of someone. The responsibility lies with the king. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. The narcissist never takes responsibility for their actions. By now, it is high time for you to be aware of this information. The narcissist is always impeccably flawless in their actions. The narcissist is always flawless and never commits any errors. The narcissist always showcases impeccable behavior. If things don't go as planned, it's not their responsibility. The fault lies with either you, him, her, or them. The blame lies with the weather. The blame lies with the man residing on the moon. However, the blame does not lie with the narcissist. Understood? Excellent. The narcissist constantly engages in shifting the blame. Demonstrating responsibility through accepting fault challenges the desire for power. Given the situation, since the narcissist is the one being treated unfairly, they must consequently refute that, considering the circumstances. The narcissist cannot be tricked or manipulated. The individual who displays narcissistic traits takes initiative and is proactive in their actions. The narcissist should never experience mistreatment. Henceforth, anyone engaging in such behavior is not only violating the law but also betraying their allegiance and demonstrating disloyalty. The narcissist demands unwavering loyalty from individuals within the fuel matrix. It is important for spouses, partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, as well as family and friends to have a deep and unwavering commitment towards them. The Duchess of Delusion is facing a significant challenge with the non-intimate secondary sources within the fuel matrix. Of course, she has every right to handle non-intimate secondary sources according to her own discretion. In simpler terms, this means to engage and involve you in a task, make use of your skills and abilities for the main objectives, and then set you aside afterwards. Alternatively, in many instances, she tends to detach from you when she transitions to a new social class. You have fulfilled your objective you have accomplished what you were meant to do. Now, you are considered unwelcome and undesirable. Your presence is no longer required. The significance of friendship is practically non-existent as she lacks any sense of responsibility or commitment to maintain the relationship. Your purpose is to cater to her needs. If you fail to demonstrate absolute loyalty as required by the narcissist, be prepared for dire consequences. Developing friendships with others is strictly prohibited, and it is crucial to avoid developing any relationships with individuals who are opposed to our cause. If someone who has been targeted by the narcissist is still willing to maintain a friendly relationship or shows any kind of favoritism towards them, they are deemed traitors within the narcissist's realm. Hence, in the fuel matrix, the tendency is for the person to side with the narcissist rather than the mutual friend, if they share a common acquaintance. To do anything different, whether it is choosing to align with the mutual friend or maintaining relationships with both the narcissist and the mutual friend is seen as an act of betrayal from the perspective of the narcissist. In this instance, the wife of this person has encountered, or rather, encountered a situation that seems almost like the issues within her friendship group can be attributed to the king's influence, as he prohibits any friendly or close relationships between himself and people who should simply be her friends. By encouraging this separation, the king portrays them as disloyal, further solidifying his negative reputation. Therefore, her struggles with the friendship group are not due to her own character flaws. It's not due to her lack of excitement. It's not attributed to her lacking charisma. The reason why she takes advantage of others is not the main cause. It's not because she lacks discretion. The blame lies with the king. Her tendency to blame others is a direct result of her narcissism. It fails to initiate a self-reflection moment when she looks at herself in the mirror and ponders, have you realized what? The lack of friendliness towards me is primarily due to my challenging nature and my tendency to exploit others, which is a direct result of being a narcissist. Maybe if I altered my behavior, I might become more likable to others. 
Undoubtedly, due to her excessive self-admiration, she is unable to perceive any flaws as she considers herself faultless. The narcissism implies that it is impossible for you, the esteemed saintly spouse, to be at fault or to have done something to make people maybe distance themselves from you or not completely adore you. Therefore, it is necessary to find an alternative reasoning for this extraordinary occurrence. Unusual conduct can only be attributed to the king's responsibility, I suppose. Therefore, this one's wife complains about individuals' inappropriate loyalty towards the king, emphasizing the need for them to distance themselves from him. This observation about the Sussexes' conflicting friendships has caught the attention of Jessica Taylor from the Daily Mail. Harry and his spouse's friends are hesitating to separate themselves from King Charles, even though the couple's relationship with the royal family is growing more strained. Therefore, these individuals hesitate to express, I no longer have any interest in the royal family, which is exactly what their spouse anticipates from them. As she holds the position, I am not fond of them. If you are my friend, it is advisable for you to also dislike them. Indeed, directly from the schoolyard. Ever since Harry and his wife relocated to Montesiccio following their resignation as senior royals, their social gatherings have frequently captured moments of them enjoying cozy evenings with high-profile companions. Nonetheless, their circle of friends has experienced some changes in recent times. Many individuals who were once in close contact with the Sussexes have chosen not to align themselves with either party in the Sussexes' public dispute with the British royal family. These individuals have opted to maintain their personal connections with the monarchy. While some individuals, like Edward Enfield and Idris Elba, have continued to actively engage with the Prince's Trust, a charitable organization founded by King Charles, others enthusiastically joined in the King's coronation festivities in May as a way to demonstrate their solidarity with the British royal family. Celebrities seem to be approaching their relationships with the Sussexes and the royal family cautiously, navigating a delicate situation where they are trying to remain neutral. The masculinity examines certain friendships. To commence, let's discuss Katy Perry. The romantic connection between 39-year-old pop sensation Katy Perry and her spouse has experienced its share of highs and lows throughout the years, yet currently, the couple. Nowadays, firm friends have a strong bond. Last weekend, Prince Harry and his wife were seen attending a Katy Perry concert in Santa Barbara. That doesn't imply they have a friendly relationship. The Duchess puts on her most dazzling attire to make a lasting impression. However, the journey has not always been smooth sailing. It has been previously noted that the wife of an individual held resentment towards Katie due to a negative remark made by the singer about her bridal gown. Reacting to a potential danger with a plan for management. The U was hosting a promotional tour. S. During an interview with Entertainment Tonight in May 2018, Perry humorously mentioned that she could have done one more alteration to the dress at ST in regards to American Idol. George's Chapel According to an insider who spoke to the Daily Star in August 2022, the spouse of this individual is acutely mindful of a remark made by Katy Perry in 2018 regarding her bridal gown, and is well known for harboring resentments. Although the comment was not intended to cause harm, it deeply affected this person's wife who was already dealing with a difficult situation, including conflicts with staff, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Thomas Markle. George and Amal Clooney, the well-known couple, George and Amal Clooney, two highly renowned individuals, were privileged to be among the first non-royals and the most prominent guests in attendance at Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. Moreover, they were granted premier seating at Street and George's Chapel following the wedding, their relationship reportedly grew stronger, with Lamar being included as a guest at his friend's wife's baby shower in New York in 2019. According to the biography, Finding Freedom, Harry and his spouse were invited to the Clooney's residence in Sonning, Berkshire, on multiple occasions. According to the book, the Clooney's supposedly extended an invitation to the Sussexes for a trip to Lake Como shortly after their wedding, generously whisking them away on their personal airplane. One of the authors of the book, Finding Freedom. The unlikely titled Plastic-Faced Lieutenant, Omid Scobie, 
additionally informed Good Morning America that Harry and Mr. George Clooney and his friend formed a strong connection through their shared passion for motorcycles and basketball. In 2019, when questioned by the Daily Mail about his relationship with the couple, Mr. provided an explanation. Clooney expressed that he had recently become acquainted with them. We reside in close proximity to each other and frequently enjoy meals together, fostering a friendship based on the same reasons people form friendships. They exhibit immense kindness and are quite enjoyable. However, the Cloonies have remained neutral in the transatlantic dispute between the Sussexes and the rest of the family, showing their endorsement of King Charles III by attending a Prince's Trust event in London in May. And by doing so, this would have hurt the wife since she relies on them as her companions. Naturally, the reason behind their invitation was their fame, which the male failed to mention, as the Cloonies disclosed in 2018. We were not acquainted with them at the time of their invitation, and it seems that the friendship developed afterwards. Moving on to the next couple, we have David and Victoria Beckham. In 2018, the Sussexes' wedding had a hand-picked guest list that included none other than the Beckhams. In 2017, when the individual and their spouse relocated to the UK and resided in Frogmore Cottage, it is believed that the spouse developed a close bond with fashion designer Victoria. According, the couple grew closer due to their mutual connections. Izzy May, who worked as David Beckham's communications director, was friends with Marcus Anderson, the chief membership officer for private social club Soho House. Marcus played a role in organizing secret dates between Harry and this one's wife. According to royal biographer Tom Bauer, this one's wife and Prince Harry's fiancée, Victoria, were reported to have developed a close bond and frequently communicated through text messages before their engagement. However, this year, there were allegations that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge suspected the Beckhams of being responsible for leaking stories about the Duchess receiving assistance from Victoria to the media. Despite the denial from the former Spice Girl, David Beckham was said to be extremely angry. According to an insider familiar with the Beckhams, the couple extended their support to this person's spouse and Harry during their wedding and upon their arrival in the UK. However, their friendship deteriorated due to the accusations made during a tense phone conversation. It is highly improbable that any fabrication has been included in the current information, according to the source. On a different note, it has been mentioned that the renowned Man United icon has agreed to dine with King Charles, following a seeming decline in his connections with the Sussexes. The ex-English football champion is engaged in a conversation with Charles to explore the potential of serving as an ambassador for the Prince's Foundation, a non-profit organization established by the monarch to empower youth through skill development. Hence, the well-known Beckhams, a couple in the spotlight, exemplify the desire for others, particularly the wife, to imitate them. This clearly indicates a diminished friendship, as they now prioritize the king over the mentioned couple. Idris Elba, the highly acclaimed British actor famous for his appearances in Luther and the Wire, showcased his DJ skills at the wedding of Harry and his spouse, where he was invited as a special guest. In the revealing Netflix documentary titled This One's Wife and Harry, the Sussexes, the couple offered an exclusive glimpse with captivating visuals of Idris skillfully mans the DJ decks. Idris Elba shared that the Dutch individual, specifically this one's wife, showcased the most remarkable dance skills on the floor during an interview with ET Canada. Despite having a close friendship with the Sussexes, Idris has managed to sustain his relationship with King Charles despite the strained dynamic between the royal couple and Harry's father and other members of the family. Only a month ago, he was captured in a photograph engaged in cheerful conversation with the king during a gathering for African business leaders at Chapel Barracks in London. Additionally, he serves as a goodwill ambassador for the Prince's Trust, a charitable organization founded by Prince Charles. At the beginning of his acting career, he was granted 1,500 by the Trust as a source of support. Grant assisted him in receiving training with the National Youth Music Theatre. In a video message for the Prince's Trust, he expressed gratitude to Grant for kickstarting his career. Once again, he is showing a preference for staying with Team Royal Family. 
Next in line is Edward Ininful. He attended the recent gathering of African business executives at Chapel Barracks. He is the former editor-in-chief of British Vogue. The photograph depicted the moment when he and the king exchanged a humorous moment, sharing laughter while shaking hands. In 2021, he was appointed as a global ambassador for the Prince's Trust due to his close connections with the king's charity. He stated that while the British monarchy is not flawless, King Charles possesses the potential to adapt to current circumstances. In 2019, their initial bond was formed as he worked alongside the Duchess of Sussex on a British Vogue project. However, it seems that he is currently showing preference towards the royal family, as he has been cultivating stronger ties with them as of late, in contrast to his connection with the Sussexes. Just as a demonstration, the Mail has put forward a small number of instances that underscore support for the British monarchy. Alternatively, they have carefully balanced their association with both the Sussexes and the royal family. This would not be well received by this individual spouse. Due to her negative perception of the royal family, including the king, she anticipates that all of these individuals will support her rather than him. Failing to accomplish this equates to causing harm. Consequently, she must take appropriate measures to address the situation. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.